welcome back to the channel. This is the Stitching Colorist with Shelley Lewis. Oh, so for today's video, um, I thought I would do a bit of a colour and chat really, because I feel like we haven't really, well, I haven't really took the time out to have a chat with you guys uh, recently. Not to mention, I have not been doing a lot of colouring lately. Uh, because of different issues and that but obviously I'll go into that when I start chatting so I thought we would work in Halloween colour by number and this is by Pratchett Duan Satch Diva now the reason why I chose this one to work in is because I've already made a start on it on a certain picture uh, not to mention I'll, as I said in a previous video I like to use September to do Halloween pictures as well so one that I've been working on is this one here so we've only got a little bit to do but I thought well we never get to do a full colour and chat together um so because we don't get to do a full one together I thought we would continue working on a picture that I've been working on lately if that makes sense <laughs> if it does please tell me so anyway the markers I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using well I have been using my shuttle art markers for these with a thicker barrel and I have been using some of my miscellaneous old markers that I keep in this tub basically just to try and use them up because they do need using those so I think first we'll go into number 16 and we'll get 16 done which is a light green. So because we're trying to get these markers used I'm going to be using a big marking which is Margarita Green for that one for a light green. And then we will start chatting. Now obviously I might not be able to be on for that long because... My battery was down to about 46% before I started doing the video. But I thought um, 46% it might actually be enough just to do the video that I want to do. Not to mention um, my recording for some reason it stops recording like after 30 minutes. So I thought hopefully we should be okay for it. So how is everybody? I hope you're doing all right. Um, my last video was a bit different, wasn't it? Because I was doing a or oh, a review, like unboxing of a stamp cross stitch. I've now started that. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. I am really enjoying my cross stitching at the minute. Um, I must admit, I have seemed to have been in a bit of a colouring slump, as they call it. Um, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. I, I just, I don't know, I've just been struggling lately. Uh, but you know how it is, it happens. Um, things have been a bit up here. Um, for the past few weeks I've been having like a severe back pain. It started a couple of weeks ago in the bottom of my lower back. Um, it was, gosh, it was really, really painful. And then it seemed to go in my right hip. And I've been really suffering with that. Um, my husband keeps saying it's because I'm putting my legs up on a stool. Um, which is doing it. I'm not entirely sure if it is that, but my husband seems to think it is. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's been some days, it's, well, sometimes in the day it's been okay and then other times it's been absolutely excruciating. Um, it's been difficult to move. This morning I couldn't get my socks on. I couldn't uh, do that half. So with much embarrassment on my part, my husband had to help me with my socks this morning because it was just too painful. And then this afternoon, unfortunately, um, when I went to go and drop something off at the post office, it decided that it was going to go not only in my right hip, 
the pain was going to travel in my lower back at the same time. So I had like a severe pain in my lower back and my hip and yeah, I just took it slow walking to school on the school run to get my son for the walk but it was it was really really bad um when i got home i just took some ibuprofen for it led down on the settee and then i must have started dozing off because it was just it was really really painful so i'm not entirely sure what i've actually done there um a few weeks ago i was doing some vigorous light dancing as a form of exercise uh, so I don't know whether it's from that whether I overstrained it um, I was talking to my mother-in-law about it and she said it could be a trap nerve which it very well could be um, but it's been like that for a while now <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing guys because I'm talking to you and as I'm talking to you I never noticed the cat I've got down the corner of the each table i've got like a chair and boxes and bags and don't ask but i just saw the cat's head poking out from underneath the chair he's led under the chair so we've got um we've got a colouring assistant with us today he's just he's just having a wash now he's lying there having a wash so number two next which is a dark yellow so i have already used a yellow for this um I used number 35 which was a yellow in that so I think what we're going to do for the number two is use the deep yellow which is a 34 um, which may come out slightly orange but it is a pumpkins isn't it so <laughs> pumpkins are supposed to be orange anyway so yeah it is more orange why they call it deep yellow I don't know but yeah, we're going to have the orange pumpkin. But yeah, I had the problem with that. Um, also, last week I had a phone call to say that the clinics have now opened up. Um, the outpatient clinics. Um, and we're requesting if I could go on Saturday for my lumbar puncture that I've been waiting for. So it was quite short notice but i said no no saturday is really good for me because obviously i didn't have to worry about the school runs and that so we booked it for saturday uh, my husband's mom my mother-in-law came with me because she wouldn't let me go on my own <laughs> bless her because it was in preston so it was like an hour and a half nearly two hours on the bus away from here so she didn't want me travelling on my own, especially when I had it done, um, in case I was in quite a bit of pain with it. So she did come with me and she was absolutely amazing, making sure I'm alright and comfortable. But yeah, I went for my lumbar puncture. It was the first one that I'd ever had. Um, it didn't go as bad as I thought it would, to be honest. Um, the did it hurt i am not going to turn around to you and say it didn't hurt one bit because that would be a lie the needle that they put in my lower i had to lie on this bed and i had to get in like a fetal position and the first needle that they put in for the anesthetic that hurt that did hurt um but i just the they was talking through me through the procedure and everything um, making sure i was all right I was talking to the nurse about my cross stitch and, um, and then they said, they was telling me they was putting the tube or needle in that measures your spinal fluid. So they started doing that and I just felt like a dull, really heavy pressure in my lower back. It would be like how, the best I could explain it, um, when they put the needling to for the um, pressure was it'd be like a lower really back back pain but then after a little while i think the anesthetic started kicking in because after a bit i couldn't really feel much of anything um they took her uh, some samples obviously to send off 
so they could um, check it for well say check it analyze it for any I don't know medical can other medical conditions they measured me cerebral fluid which was 24 it was nearly 25 and he explained to me that anything below 20 was normal anything above 20 to 25 was high and anything above 25 was like abnormally high uh, I was nearly at the 25 mark so he said I was like on the borderline he said he asked how my medication was helping um, I said it's been doing absolute wonders so he reckons he said it was really good he, he reckons that possibly my because I'd already been on the medication for a bit he reckons my pressure uh, would probably pass the 25 mark so the medication had already shown that it was already starting to reduce it which is really really good news so it goes to show that the medication's working um so i'm still on obviously on the meds i don't know how long i'm going to be on the meds for because the condition that i have the iih there is actually no known cure for it there isn't a cure it goes into remission what they call but it doesn't actually ever get cured so it's always there um so i'm not exactly sure how long i'm gonna have to be on the medication for i suppose it depends but yeah it went as better than i'd expected anyway um we had something to eat when I came out from the procedure because obviously I was advised to have something to eat and something caffeinated, so I did. Um, the bus journey on the way home, now, it, it wasn't painful um, with the bumps and everything, uh, but when I was getting off the bus to walk back to the house that's when it started my back started getting a bit painful so got back home and that was it my husband was my husband was playing nurse then and oh gosh I have not been the best patient <laughs> I've not been the best patient when it comes to trying to rest and take an advice yeah I was trying to do stuff like normal my husband kept telling me, he's like, for goodness sake, will you sit down? You've just had a procedure and you need to be careful. I couldn't bend over, put it that way. I definitely couldn't do that. But yeah, I was still trying to do little things as normal. Um, but then it obviously, um, it didn't hit me too much. But unfortunately, the obviously the pain that I've been getting in my hip anyway, uh, that's been hurting there's more the same even today so it's just a no win i can't get away from it so yeah very very cheerful video isn't it this pain more pain but yeah i just wanted to let you know how i got on with my lumbar puncture so as i said things were okay i've just got to wait um for the test results to come through for, for the sample that they sent off and i guess we'll go from there i have got an appointment at the end of November to see my neurologist and that so we'll see what they say then it seems quite some far away at the end of November really but I don't know we're coming up to the middle of September now so I don't know it's not that far but yeah that's sorted anyway got my medication sorted so that's what's been going on with me uh, yeah. Um, and YouTube, yeah. If you got to watch my last video, you might not have watched it because it was like the stitching wise, um, the review I did. I do apologise if the links to that site have gone. Unfortunately, I received an email sauce from YouTube today saying that unfortunately they've had to remove it because it violates the, the policy 
which I, I really didn't get because I was given permission by the company to put the links in. They actually gave me the links that um, sent me the kit. They gave me the links. Um, so I had permission there. But for some reason, YouTube didn't seem to like it. I've used links in my videos before. Um, but yeah, for some reason this time that YouTube didn't like it. So yeah, the links have been removed. I don't know if you are YouTube creators and you've ever had that before. If you have, please do let me know. Because I'm a bit baffled, to be honest, coming to that. Because like I said, I've had links before. Uh, when I did the diamond paint to companies and they never said anything then so why they're suddenly saying it now I don't know but yeah the links have gone but every, anyhow I do mention the name of the company in the video so all you have to do is just nip over and have a look if that's something that has interested you but you're thinking well where's the links gone so I do apologise about that guys, it was not my fault, <laughs> YouTube decided they were going to move it because they felt like it, but yeah, didn't quite get what all that was about. So, how's the kids going? The kids doing alright, um, they're back in school, my daughter's been off today because she's got a bit of a... I'm not going to say cough. I think she's got a bit of this, like, you know, the winter cold that they usually get. I think she's got that coming. Number eight, which is brown. Yeah, she's got a bit of a winter cold coming, unfortunately. So I kept her off today because, you know, with everything that's going on, it's just not worth it, is it? So... I thought it's better just keeping her off. So, yeah, she's been off today. My son's been at school today. He's enjoying, they're both enjoying the New Year's now because my son's in year three and my daughter is in year one. And they're both really enjoying it. So, them started back to school, good. They're absolutely loving it at the minute. So, I'm doing all right. My husband, uh, besides obviously me being an awkward patient, he's doing fine. <laughs> he's doing okay. He's He's been doing um, visual novels at the minute. On his laptop, he's been watching them. Well, I don't know if you, whether you can say watching or reading them. He's reading them, visual novels, on his laptop. And he's really enjoying that at the minute. So... He's been doing that. As I said, myself, I've been in a bit of a colouring slump. Uh, yesterday I spent the day, I did some line dots and spirals to try and get me back into it. Um, but as I said, I have been stitching a fair bit lately. I think it's because I want to get in the mood for my cross stitch retreat, which is... Not this Friday coming, it is the Friday after. And it's the first one, first one back since before the whole COVID hit. So, a um, little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Because uh, like I said, it's the first one back. But everyone else is going to be in the same situation. Kind of. So, But it is at one of the hotels I've been to before. And I haven't been there since they've done it out, so I'm quite looking forward to actually seeing what they've done with the place. Not to mention Stitch and Retreat, you get the added bonus of a wonderful breakfast. <laughs> a big choice of breakfast, you get your meals. Oh, a shower. Oh, gosh, yeah. Shower. Um, the stitching, you get to stitch all day, even though if I've got back pain like I have now, I'm going to have to use my pillow to prop in my seat in the room. Um, not to mention there's a stash table, that kits that people want to pass on, sell and that. So it's always good because I always end up coming back with <laughs> more than I went with, to be honest. Because um, I come back, we always come back with stash. 
so I'm really looking forward to that um saved a bit of money for that so I think this time my ideal thing that I want to look for is some gridded fabric um for when I'm doing my kits so I'm going to try and get some gridded fabric if I can um if not then I might get just get some nice uh jazzy fabric or some large fabric for use for my kits yeah anyway yeah i want to get fabric put it that way so i want to get a couple of pieces of fabric and i'll have a look obviously what people have got to sell on there not to mention i could do with probably sorting out my own stash sorting out my own stuff for what i what i want to sell on the site I'm on the side where I want to sell at the uh, retreat because I could do with sorting through my stash because I've been right enjoying my stamp cross stitch lately I absolutely love it doesn't take much thinking at all you don't need the chart in front of you because it's already on the fabric the only thing I will suggest is when you are doing stamped cross stitch when you see a pattern if you if it does interest you if you do like stitching always check with the design on it if it's copyright because that's one big a unfortunately with some stamp cross stitch kits especially for them china some of them they do they do thing and um they don't exactly get the designer's permission so always check with that to make sure that it's not copyright so yeah might actually be able to finish this picture before i go in the back and get it done i probably won't be able to finish it on camera because like i said i only had 40 percent battery well 46 percent battery on my phone so it's probably down to about 30 25 now It'd be cool though if I could actually finish a picture on camera for a change, wouldn't it? So, I think so far this month I've probably coloured about six pages. <laughs> yeah, that's bad for me because I usually do a lot. Well, I usually do about anything from about 23 onwards. But as I said, this month's been pretty bad. It's because of obviously with having back pain as well, I've not been able to relax with it. So are we going to be able to finish this last bit while we're on camera? Are we going to do it? Keep your fingers crossed. I don't like rushing my colouring. I hate rushing because that's when I make mistakes. But, because I think we're nearly at the end of the video, but I've only got like a tad bit left of colour. I might actually get it done. believe we've done that i've actually finished a picture on camera how cool is that <laughs> amazing so yeah that is my pumpkin picture and i have finished it on camera i didn't expect to do that really didn't so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there for now before my battery dies on my phone i'm gonna get this i'm probably gonna upload this video tomorrow now um it's tuesday today but i'm gonna upload it wednesday so i'm gonna go in the bath now i'm chuffed that i finished it on camera guys yay <laughs> well done me so anyway guys if you've enjoyed the video please feel free to give the big video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that if you're not already subscribed to the channel then please feel free to press that subscribe button i would love to have you here and until next time, I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now, guys. Bye.